welcome back everybody so i uh i thought about this before i made this video and at first i was gonna i was gonna not and i know i've said that about some videos before but i always try to give some thought to what i put out there before i put it out there but i want to make this video because there's some issues that i feel like are not being discussed enough and people can say oh well, they are but i don't think that they are so just recently um doja cat shaved her entire head and so she didn't do it live and she was saying it's weird like why why are people like like concerned that i shaved my head and in my mind i'm like what's wrong with you like the last time somebody did that so the last time a celebrity did that a woman celebrity remember she was losing her mind so i don't understand how she could not understand why people wouldn't be concerned as to why she did that like, honestly, like, I'm not a Doja Cat fan, but whenever I saw that, I was like, I hope this girl's not losing her mind. Like, I was really concerned. I'm gonna be honest. And it shouldn't take us being a fan of somebody or liking somebody to be concerned about the behaviors that they're displaying. So that's why some people were like, why in the world did she shave her head? Because they thought, like, you know, she was losing it or something like that. Now, of course, some people, they were asking because they weren't concerned. They just wanted to, you know, be messy. But some people were inquiring because they were concerned. Now, of course, she did make a video saying that she shaved her head because she was tired of having hair for a long time. She just hated having hair. She was giving examples of, you know, when you have to put on your weaves or your wigs and then you have to go and do stuff. And then, you know, the wig slips off and it's just, you know, this hot mess sometimes. And that's understandable. I've never actually worn a wig before. Um, I've wanted to, but I've never actually worn one before. I have worn weaves and braids. So I, I completely understand, you know, not wanting to go sit at the salon for two, two and a half to four or five hours getting stuff put on your head. And she did say, um, unless I'm mistaken, that, you know, she just doesn't believe hair was just made for you to just put stuff on. And that's, of course, what we've seen a lot with, with her. Like she's had a lot of, you know, weaves, wigs, because that's what they have to do when they're entertainers. It sucks, but... You know, a lot of times they won't let them use their, you know, their usual hair, especially if it's type 4C like hers is. And I can completely understand what she was saying about, yes, it is difficult to do. I have type 4 hair. I, I have type 4C. So I completely understand. I, I know. I would know. It's not easy to maintain. It's not easy to do, you know, certain things with. But you have to find ways to manage it. There are ways out there. People just don't want to look for them. That's the thing. And I just don't, I don't like this whole stereotype and this negative idea that is being perpetuated that just because type 4C hair is a little more difficult to do and style and manage and that you actually have to look for the ways and stick with them that that makes it, you know, people, they just trash it. They say, oh, it's trash. Like it's, it's hard. It's difficult. You know, and that kind of, like I said, it perpetuates this stereotype and this negative like idea that just because it's hard to do that it's bad. And that's what I don't like. Now, like I said before, she said in the, her video that she just didn't like having hair. But I feel like there's a deeper issue to all this. And it's just that she didn't like having her hair. And I feel like a lot of people, again, perpetuating these stereotypes and these negative, whack, disgusting views, they have put people and themselves under the impression that because they're light-skinned or they're biracial, that by default, they're going to have a looser hair pattern. And she probably grew up feeling like, you know, she was entitled to the loose hair pattern and that she should have never got type four because she's biracial and there aren't enough people around to you know promote type four hair in all skin colors skin types that it occurs in there's not enough people promoting appreciating your type four c despite how hard it is to do just because it's hard to do doesn't mean it has to be bad and it doesn't mean you have to get on the internet and talk about it like it's bad you couldn't pay me enough even with all of my type 4c dense and very thick hair you couldn't pay me enough to get on anybody's social media and talk trash about my hair yeah i'll say okay yeah it's difficult to do sometimes but that doesn't mean that it's bad that i'm grateful for the hair that god blessed me with because there's people around here who can't grow hair to this day but like I said, people have perpetuated this negative view that type four is bad because it's difficult to do. Oh, we don't want to do it because it's hard. It's hard to comb out. Like, I just, I'm just not here for it. Okay, I'm just not here for it. But like I said, I feel like the deeper issue is that she just didn't like her hair, right? And that's, that's why she saved it. She felt like she shouldn't have had type four hair and that she probably didn't have people around her to help her appreciate 
and embrace her type four that God blessed her with and help her learn how to do it. You know, like they had some sisters out there, you know, they probably had brothers or best friends who married you know, white women. And they were like, listen, I don't know how to do this kid's hair. So y'all are going to have to help me. And they were like, well, this is what you do. And they pulled out all of the grease, all the, 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 what do you got? The uh, blue magic, all, all the stuff. Okay. They pulled out the Denman brushes. Okay. The wide tooth combs. And they said, when, you know, when she goes to bed at night, you need to plait it up. So it'll be easier for you to just take it down and put it in a bun or something in the morning. Like, they help people out. There were people in some communities that do help people appreciate and learn how to do their hair. But when you don't have that, it leads to situations like this. So, I had to get that off my chest. I had to get it off. I had to get it off. I had to get on the soapbox, and I had to get it off. That's what I feel like this is really about. Now, I'm not saying that she doesn't look nice with a shaved head because she has a pretty face. So, People with pretty faces, they look nice with shaved heads. So if she wanted to shave her hair because she decided that she was just sick of like doing it and all this kind of stuff, that's fine. Although I'm, and I'm not saying that she did this necessarily. I'm just saying whatever you do with your hair and whatever you got, let that be you. Just don't perpetuate any negative stereotypes or any negativity because you're upset with what happened to you in your life. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But anyways, like I said, she looks nice. What can I say? She was doing all these things, you know, with her eyebrows, putting like hearts and stuff in it. You know, I thought that that was different. That's cute. So, you know, she doesn't look bad. And if she has to like have a certain look, you know, for a music video or if she's modeling something, she just got to put on a wig. That's it. It's that simple. Put it on, take it off. You know, she, she doesn't have to braid any hair underneath. Just put on the wig, take off the wig. If it's easier for her, more power to her. I'm not upset about it. Like I said, I just don't want people to spew negativity. That's all. Because that's exactly what a lot of people are going to bring up. They're going to say, oh, yeah, the type four is so horrible. You know, that's what they do in these situations. And that's what I'm saying that we shouldn't be doing. But anyways, I'm going to get off my soapbox before I keep talking. I don't want to sound like a broken record, y'all. So just I'm going to get off the soapbox now. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comments below.